It's the beginning of GoFest day two. Today's GoFest is gonna be quite different because Team Rocket has stolen it from us. As you guys can tell, Team Rocket's already on the move. Look at those Pokestops. Most of them are taken over by Team Rocket. Whoa. Oh my gosh. Similar to yesterday, I didn't want to do any spoilers, so I didn't read the article, I didn't look into it. So I'm not really gonna know what's gonna happen. There's one minute before it changes. I already shiny checked all this. It's about to go poof. And look at that, whoa. Wow, look at that. It's a mix of all different Pokemon from all the hours yesterday. We're gonna go ahead and shiny check all these real quick. Interesting, a lot of these are the new shinies. Huh, <gasps> no way. <laughs> what a way to start off the day, heck yes. And I got golden raspberries because I made sure and did some raids beforehand. Shiny Woobat, it's like my fourth check, yes. Oh my gosh, I really wanted this one. I have a feeling that the spawns might not change per hour. They might just be a mix of everything throughout the entire day, which means there might be gibbles out, which is very exciting. Pokétronic, by the look on your face, I'm sure you've grasped the situation. Team Go Rocket Confetti is raining down from the sky. Grunts are invading Pokestops all around the world, and Team Go Rocket has taken over GoFest. We thought we put a stop to them when we ended their takeover during our research leading up to GoFest, but that takeover appears to have only been part of a larger plan. We have yet to determine Team Go Rocket's ultimate goal, though. Regardless of what it is, Pokétronic, you must prepare yourself. I'm impressed by your energy and that of your fellow trainers around the world. If we work together, I know victory is within our reach. Okay. Is there multiple pages? It doesn't say? But this looks very easy. This looks like it's easier than one page. Take a snapshot. Power up a Pokemon three times for a hundred Pokeballs, and send three gifts to friends for 2020 Stardust. And we get an encounter from it. Interesting. But we're gonna wanna do the leaders apparently, and I think this balloon is probably gonna be a leader since I have a radar. And it is, it is Sierra. So we're gonna battle her and see what happens, because I honestly, I don't know what's gonna happen. Is it going to be Lapras? Is it gonna be something else? Seriously though? I can't get over that start. We started with a shiny, oh my gosh. That does not usually happen. So I'm gonna go with my normal Lapras defeating party, but what's gonna happen? Beldum, yes! They're bringing back the old ones, okay. That's very exciting. I do really want to get shiny shadow um, Scyther, so I'm gonna go for that today. I really want Shiny Shadow Beldum, so I'm gonna go for that today. There was Bag on? I would love to get that. So I'll be back when I finish beating her butt, and we'll see if we got a Shiny Shadow Beldum on our first try. There's a Zapdos on the end of her team? Maybe it'll give you one of the three Pokemon that she has. I'm really hoping that's the case, because she's never had the legendaries on her team before. That's always been Giovanni, but I missed those legendaries. So if I could get them now, I'd be very thankful. Let's see what happens. Okay, it's just Beldum. But I think it's a bit suspicious that she has a legendary bird on the end of her team. We're gonna have to see what that's all about. All right, should we shiny check at the same time? Yep, I'm ready whenever you are. Okay. All right, ready? Yep. One, two, three. Oh my god! <gasps> no way! What the I heck? I got Shiny Shadow Beldum. Shiny Shadow Beldum. It's the second Sierra that I've done. Alright, I just defeated an Arlo. He had Mawile and Moltres. So I guess we're gonna see what happens. Just a Mawile, not Shiny. Not that I want the Shiny. It's insane. I'm gonna do a lot of leaders today. I really hope that the rates are boosted, because otherwise I might just do a ton of leaders today and just get nothing out of it, which would kind of, I don't know, it would kind of suck, because it's like I either choose to focus on the GoFest shinies or I choose to focus on the leaders, and if at the end of today I didn't get anything out of the leaders, then I will have not gotten anything out of normal GoFest shinies either, which would be kind of sad. So this is kind of a risky choice, we're just going to see what happens. But, Sierra check. Come on, let's see if those rates are boosted. 
Nope, regular Shadow Beldum. Shiny Zangoose, yes, yes. Such a great shiny, a regional shiny, so I'm not really gonna be able to get him later. He's really huge, he's 1900 CP. I'm glad I have Golden Raspberries and Ultra Balls today. Yes! Okay, let's check those. No, let's not check those IVs. We're saving that for later, but yay! Shiny Zangoose! Also, guys, Dialga, Palkia, and um, Origin Form Giratina are in raids right now, so we're definitely gonna see if we can find uh, a raid group to do that with. This is what I've been asking for. I found a Team Rocket grunt that said, don't bother, I've already won. I'm like, oh, it's Snorlax, or it's one of the starters. And I was right. It's one of the starters! Thank goodness! These guys are ultra rare. I don't think you can even get them normally. So, during this event, I'm gonna try and get as many as I possibly can. They're just non-existent now. You can't get them. So, let's get our Shadow Bulbasaur! Yes! This is my first Shadow Bulbasaur on this account. <sighs> Thank goodness. To those of you who have been playing since Team Rocket got released, you're probably not that surprised or impressed because they were really common in the beginning, but now they just don't exist. So, go fest. Your only chance. All right, guys, good news. I was actually able to get into a Dialga raid. So, very excited. This is our very first Dialga. Also, at this point, Zack has gotten two Shiny Shadow Beldums. So, we're pretty positive that the shiny shadows are boosted, so I'm definitely gonna go for them. Go all out, best I can. But here is Dialga. So gorgeous, I've always loved his cry. He's such a neat Pokemon. Let's go ahead and catch him. Yes, I caught Dialga. We have Dexed Dialga, yes! I can't wait to get the other two. Look at this gorgeous, gorgeous dragon. He actually looks more like a dinosaur in my opinion, but. I still, I just love his design. He looks amazing. All right, awesome news, guys. I was able to find another starter as a shadow. Charmander, look at how adorable and precious he is. Oh my goodness. Absolutely need to catch this. Okay, so I actually had to go to lunch earlier with my family. They really wanted me to go to lunch. I'm like, guys, it's Go Fest. I can't go to lunch. And they're like, but we miss you. We want to see you. We're your family. And I'm like, okay. So I played Pokemon at the table. <laughs> but I was able to get three shinies. It was a bit of a long lunch, it was an entire hour. And I will show you guys what those three shinies were. I apologize for not being able to record them. I didn't want to just like leap up and leave and go record, <laughs> you know. That would be a little bit worse than just playing your phone at the table. But uh, I'll show you guys what shinies I managed to get. I've been doing a bunch of Team Rocket, and yet I have no shiny shadow. So, I'm a bit worried that maybe the rates aren't boosted. I don't know, I think I'll give it another hour, maybe. I really want to get one, but, you know, it's disheartening. But anyway, guys, let me show you what I caught. First of all, right when we were ordering our food, suddenly Shiny Tangela shows up. Maybe it's because I bought a salad. Shiny Salad showed up. More like green spaghetti. Ooh, it's like uh, Zoodles. He's Zoodles. I should have had Zoodles for lunch. Maybe I would have caught more. <laughs> anyway, Shiny Tangela, fantastic. It's a brand new Shiny, so I'm glad to have it. Of course I want the new Shinies. I really like how he looks. He looks, he's an amazing, amazing Shiny. Then after that, I found another Shiny Alolan Executor. I really, actually, legitimately do not need this Pokemon. As you guys know, I have a Shundo. So uh, any Shinies from that point on are kind of useless. To me i don't need them anymore but i will trade him in the future and then i got another double alolan marowak which i'm not going to complain he's an amazing shiny he's gorgeous so happy to get another one i'm just going to use this one to trade or whichever one has the worst ivs sadly he can't evolve obviously but such a cool shiny anyways there's a bunch of him out right now definitely not mad all right guys, I'm going through a bit of a slow patch. I apologize for the super loud traffic, but I finally found a shiny again. Shiny Woobat number two. I'm having that Woobat luck today. What a cutie pie. Look at this cute little face. Oh my goodness. I don't have very many golden raspberries and I'm totally out of Ultra Balls again. They run out so fast. 
but also we need to complete page one of our tasks right now because apparently there's more than one, they're just not numbered. All right, Woobat, say cheese. Whoa, hello. There's a Team Rocket <laughs> grunt. Oh my gosh, that's hilarious, I love it. <laughs> oh, gotta get our uh, incense real fast. Oh, yeah, boy. Rodham, please don't disappear. But oh my goodness, what the heck? This is my second shiny Alolan Executor today. Stop jumping. Stop jumping. This is my second shiny Alolan Executor today, and I already had one. <gasps> oh, 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 this is really scary. This is really, really scary. Oh my gosh. Okay, I need to get an excellent or something. Okay, this is a great. He's 1900 CP. Oh my gosh, hello, that was weird. Okay, uh, definitely check the unknown. And let's grab our Rodham really fast. Oh my gosh. We get two incenses. 100 Pokeballs, thank you, I need that. 2020 Stardust. Ooh, we get an encounter. What can it be? I don't think it's Victini, I think Victini's a bit later, so let's see. Whoa, a freaking Machamp. Oh my gosh, this is a Dex. Hello, hello. What a fantastic reward. Wow, so Victini isn't for, gonna be for a little while. I don't know how many pages there are of this. And there's our Dex from a champ. Look at his tiny legs. Okay, we are not done. Great work, Poketronic. Your Pokemon are ready for battle. And I bet your fellow trainers are thankful for the supplies you've sent their way. We'll need to work together to keep Team Go Rocket at bay and save Pokemon Go Fest. Oh, what's this? Looks like the snapshots you took feature some unwelcome guests. It's amazing that Team Go Rocket can organize these massive takeovers, but its members do seem a little silly. Or maybe these photobombs are actually all part of their scheme. Anyway, why don't you put all your training to use? In the meantime, I'll do more investigating with the team leaders. Defeat two Team Go Rocket grunts, rescue two shadow Pokemon, purify one shadow. Okay, so we got a little bit of a list of things to do. Definitely a bit harder than the first page. I don't know how many pages there are, so now I'm nervous. I need to start doing these ASAP because I don't want to run out of time. After finding another shiny Alolan Executor, which I don't really want or care about, I finally got another shiny that I do want and care about. Shiny Alolan Grimer. Look at this cutie. This is my last golden raspberry. Hopefully he stays in the ball. It's such a cool shiny. I love how he just swaps to be almost like the Kanto. He's still got the yellow stripe across his mouth. He's also a little bit lighter than Kanto, but very cool, very cool. Now this shiny is actually really, really rare. This is the first time, this GoFest is the first time he's appeared in the wild at all. Normally he's only in eggs, and you guys know how difficult it is to get shinies from eggs. Are you serious? Are you serious? I'm, I mean, I should be happy right now, but I feel a mix of emotions right now. So I was getting irritated, as you guys could tell, that I wasn't getting any shiny shadows. I'm like, you know, I'm not gonna give it any more time. I decided I'll buy one more rocket box, give it four more radars, and if I don't get one, then it's over, no more. On my last one, I got a shiny shadow. Shiny shadow Beldum. Like, I'm extremely happy and excited for this, but also, Pokemon Go is really trying to push my limits. They're like, this is the last chance? Okay, fine, we'll give it to her. Just like, oh my gosh. I'm so excited to get this. I'm so happy to get this. But at the same time, it's, like I said, a mix of emotions. He is so gorgeous though. Oh my gosh. Look at this. Absolutely gorgeous. Yep. That's the one. That's the one that I got. Check it out, guys. Shiny Charmander with the hat. Oh my gosh. I don't even have any golden raspberries, so I'm a little bit I'm a little bit terrified right now. I don't know if it's possible for shinies to run, but I know they can jump. Yes! Yay! I am getting all the luck now. In between clips, I found a shiny quillfish, which you know, a shiny is a shiny, and it's a new shiny, but it is a double. You know, there's a lot that I still want to get that aren't doubles. And this was one of them, so I'm so thankful for this. 
the yellow hat just matches him perfectly. I, you know, I wanted to say Bulbasaur is the one I wanted to get the most, but honestly, I don't feel that way at all. I think this is probably the one I would have wanted the most. Just looking at him and seeing how gorgeous and adorable he is, I'm very, very satisfied. Things are looking up. They are looking up. And I am still going after the leaders. I've decided I'm gonna go ahead and just work my butt off, try and get those shiny shadows that I'm lacking. I'm gonna go ahead and defeat this Team Go Rocket Grunt because that is one of the things we need to do in our tasks. We're gonna go ahead and finish page two because I don't wanna keep it on for this long. It's almost four o'clock already, which means we only have four hours left. Four hours is still a long time. It's just, you know, it flies by. It flies. This is kind of a cool one. I like Trap Hinch. Uh, I did find a Shadow Dratini today, so I am beyond happy. It's, those are it, extraordinarily rare. Of course, the uh, starters are extraordinarily rare as well. I think the one I'm missing is Squirtle. I don't know if I'll show you guys if I do get it or not. And Trap Hinch was caught. Cool, okay. Okay, so we need to purify one Shadow Pokemon. Also, there's something I need to do really fast. We need to TM away frustration on our Hundo Pinsir. He's our only Hundo Shadow. The only one I have. We're gonna go ahead and TM away frustration. You can do this during this event, so very exciting. Let's go ahead and use a charged TM on him. And he learned Excisor. I don't know if that's good. Who knows? At least it's better than frustration. It's an actual bug attack and he gets a shadow bonus. So this, this dude is gonna be a bad boy. We're gonna go ahead and purify this random C dot because most likely he doesn't have amazing IVs. I didn't even bother to check. Look at that, he's, he's purified and shadow at the same time for a second there. And that'll take care of that task. Okay, let's complete page two. We get two encounters this time. Encounter number one. A Weavile, a Dex! How cool! I'm loving this. I am loving GoFest. You guys already know that. Here's our very first Weavile. Such an awesome Pokemon. So cool. And 2020 Stardust again. And 20 Rare Candy, I like that. A mysterious Pokemon has appeared. Golem. This is a cool one. We have already Dexed it. So I'm gonna go ahead and leave it at that. All right guys, I got another shiny. Yes! And it's a good one too. Another shiny Alolan Grimer. Yes! This is fantastic news. Like I said earlier, I think this guy is considered pretty rare, so I'm pretty satisfied with this. Who knows if he'll be back in the wild or not after this. They might not bring him back into the wild. Oh my gosh, I shouldn't have checked IVs. I, I'm not supposed to check IVs. What did I meant to wait? What am I doing with my life? At least I liked what I saw. At least there's that. Wow. Okay, really quick, I forgot to talk to Professor Willow. He wants to talk to us again. So let's go ahead and do that really, really fast. Thanks to your hard work, you've caught a golem. The team leaders and I have been scoping out the Team Go Rocket balloons and have discovered that the Team Go Rocket leaders are using flying type Pokemon. No kidding, they're using the legendary birds that I want. Sources told me that Team Go Rocket might have captured some legendary Pokemon and turned them into shadow Pokemon too. If I recall correctly, the team leaders saw one of these balloons at GoFest last year and another during the Team Go Rocket takeover a few weeks ago. I wouldn't have imagined that Team Go Rocket would spend resources on such an interesting means of transportation. However, it's clear that the boss has put a lot of effort into providing his grunts with balloons. Yeah, no kidding. Your golem might have been a helpful addition to your battle party since flying types are weak to rock type attacks. It's time to rock Team Go Rocket's world and save those legendary shadow Pokemon. Yes, please. I want to save them. Please let me. Please let me. <laughs> I've been staring at them this whole time, wanting them badly. Oh! Okay, we need to defeat Arlo and Cliff. Apparently I already did Sierra. And we get encounters. If they're shadow legendary birds, I would die. Please tell me they are. Oh, we're just gonna have to wait and see. Time to battle more leaders. All right, let's check the very first one. I am beyond excited right now. 
I, ever since I saw that they had the legendary birds, the shadow legendary birds, I was really excited. I'm just like, oh, what if there's like a slim chance you can get it? Like, super, super slim, you know? So that means once I get these three legendary birds, the only thing I'm gonna be missing is one of the dogs, and I think it was, it was Raikou. Yeah, he's the only one I'll be missing now from Giovanni, which is really crazy. Look at that. And we're dexing them as a shadow. Shadow Moltres. Okay, let's go ahead and see the IVs on this one. Oh, and the great thing is, is that these are gonna have the higher IVs. If you actually got these from Giovanni, they could be anywhere. The range could be anywhere. So these are all gonna be good because they came from tasks, which is like really, really good. Really, really good. Okay, let's go ahead and grab our other ones. This one could be Zapdos or Articuno. And it is Ar Articuno. Will there ever be a Go Fest that is better than this one? Kind of doubt it. All right, Articuno, come on, let's see them good IVs. Ooh, okay, this one's better. Our last one we got kind of unlucky and it was two star, but this one is three star. Here's the gorgeous Zapdos. I can't, I can't choose between them. I'm really bad at having favorites because I just love all of them. And here's our Shadow Dex. How cool. This is so insane. Okay. I feel like it's my birthday. I feel like it's Christmas. Let's go ahead and check those IVs. This one's pretty good. This one is really good. I'm satisfied because it's not two stars. But, oh my gosh, wait, we got, we got a Giovanni radar? For the dogs? Maybe it's for something new. Let's just claim it already and see what happens. Great job defeating Sierra, Cliff, and Arlo. Now all that's left is their boss, Giovanni. Poketronic, are you ready? What is he gonna have? I mean, they're not gonna just have another dog, right? They're gonna have something. Spark, Blanche, and Candela can handle the Team Go Rocket leaders while you prepare to face the boss. It's interesting that the Team Go Rocket leaders are commanding these legendary shadow Pokemon, which are usually reserved for the boss himself. Perhaps we'll learn what this means as we uncover Team Go Rocket's devious plans and discover what Pokemon Giovanni now has under his control. Could it be Mewtwo? Could it be Mewtwo? It could be Mewtwo. They added Mewtwo's um, shadow to the code recently. So, uh, it's probably Mewtwo. <laughs> On the bright side, I received an encouraging message from the team leaders about a mysterious phenomenon. Remember that powerful energy I detected yesterday? The team leaders reported that trainers worldwide suddenly felt a similar energy that filled them with hope and determination. Yes, this is Victini. Through my research, I found references to that very same energy. They document a mythical Pokemon that shares its infinite energy with others and guarantees a winning battle. I have a feeling that's why Team Go Rocket is here. Perhaps Team Go Rocket hopes to further its dastardly plans by using this powerful Pokemon. I hear Giovanni often begins his battles with his buddy Pokemon Persian, which is weak to fighting type attacks. The Machamp you caught earlier might help you here. Good luck, Poketronic. The fate of Pokemon Go Fest is in your hands. Oh, is that the end? Oh no, no, there's one more. Defeat the Team Go Rocket boss, and we get two encounters. I'm gonna guess, and this is totally random guesses because I don't have any spoilers right now. I'm gonna guess the first encounter is going to be Shadow Persian, and the second encounter is gonna be Victini. But don't quote me on that, we're gonna have to wait and see. Now's the time to defeat Giovanni. All right guys, I found Giovanni. At first I was impressed by your dedication, but now you've become a nuisance. This festival is mine. You will regret trying to put a dent in my perfectly executed takeover. Your Pokemon will be mine. Mm, good luck with that. <laughs> you cannot stop me, but I'm amused by your attempt. <laughs> How hilarious, I love Giovanni, he's the best. I don't know what he's gonna have, but I'm pretty sure I know what Pokemon we're gonna get from him. But for the first attempt, we're gonna go with Mewtwo, Magnezone, and Reshiram. What is he gonna have? I think I know! Of course, Persian. 
uh, the Pokemon that we're gonna get from him is going to be his last one per usual. But we were able to take him down, surprisingly easier. Persian is usually way harder than this, so I'm surprised. Wait, I think he's extra easy. They did make the bosses, the, um, the leaders. They've been easier today than usual. I think it's so you can complete more than normal in a quicker time frame, I imagine. But it seems like he, oh, I was right. <laughs> now, sadly, a lot of people were hoping he would be a black Mewtwo because there is like a design for a black Mewtwo. I kind of figured that wasn't gonna happen, but we're about to take him down. Wow, he was really easy to beat. <sighs> Shadow Mewtwo. This defeat is meaningless. Team Go Rocket will never fall. See you later. <laughs> Seriously though, see you later on the next Team Rocket takeover. And our Mewtwo! They tricked me! <laughs> they tricked us all! Oh my gosh! They tricked us all! What? It's just Giovanni's Persian. He gave up his best buddy. Persian. Why would he give up his best buddy? Why would they add Shadow Mewtwo, but we can't get it? I mean, this is gonna be a dex. <laughs> we dexed Persian with Giovanni's Shadow Persian. That's really cool. Does she have good IVs? He? Wow, he does. He probably has like raid rates. So has to be better than uh, two star. Let's uh, talk to Professor Willow. Oh, oh, we get encounters. Oh, what if this is Shadow Mewtwo? I don't feel like they would do that, but maybe? Encounter time! I was like, <laughs> complaining, like they tricked us. No, but actually, <laughs> whoa, you know what? He has a different shadow aura. It's like electric. How cool, wow. Oh my gosh, I want to get him in a Pokeball. Okay, let's see if we get some good IVs on Shadow Mewtwo here. He looks amazing. I love how they gave him a special aura. It really makes him special. Oh gosh, okay. Let's check those IVs. Uh... Yeah. That's... That sounds about right. <laughs> but it's so cool! Oh my gosh, does he have a... He does not have a special move, he has Frustration. You can get rid of Frustration today only. There'll be other days when you can, again, because they've done it before, but we're gonna do it. And he learned Thunderbolt, which is awful. I'm gonna use an Elite Charged TM, because this is Shadow Mewtwo. This is Shadow freaking Mewtwo, guys. And we're gonna get him Shadow Ball. Yes! Now he is a beast. <laughs> And we get 20 Ultra Balls, two Incenses, and an encounter with... Victini! Oh my goodness! Whoa! Hello, that was cool. Do I get a circle? This is... A lot of times with the Mythicals, they make you go into AR Plus mode. I'm surprised that they're not making me do that right now. But it's nice, because AR Plus mode, um, it corrupts my footage. So thank you, Pokemon Go, for not doing that to me. It would have been heartbreaking. <laughs> Victini, the victory Pokemon. And our very first Victini. You know, I do think that the tan on her normally is a little bit lighter. She looks kind of orangish, or he, she, I don't know. He looks pretty cool. I like Victini enough. It's definitely not a favorite of mine. It's probably one of my least favorite mythicals in general. It's a cute Pokemon. I will admit, it's a very cute Pokemon. And did we get some good IVs on this single mythical that we probably won't get again? At least not for a really long time. Ooh! Let's go ahead and talk to Professor Willow one last time. 
Pokétronic, you did it! You have defeated Giovanni and sent him packing. Who would have thought that he could even turn Mewtwo into a shadow Pokémon? That alone is a mystery we need to investigate. It was a tough battle, and the fact that you... No, it wasn't. <laughs> and the fact that you defeated Mewtwo proves what an amazing trainer you are. Spark, Blanche, and Candela were victorious against the Team Go Rocket leaders and drove them away too. Wow, you guys did it. I've been doing those all day. <laughs> Thanks to everyone's efforts, we've saved Pokemon Go Fest. It's time to celebrate. Turns out, Team Go Rocket was after Victini, the victory Pokemon. Some say this Pokemon brings victory to its trainer, regardless of the contest. I'm now sure that the energy we were all feeling was thanks to Victini. I'm in utter awe of your tenacity and determination. Pokemon Go Fest was saved because of your hard work. Thank you, Poketronic. Ooh, and we get a page full of stuff just to collect. We get 2020 Stardust again, 2020 XP, 2020 Stardust again, and more items in bundles of 20. Phew! Now I think we should get back to having fun. There's still time to enjoy the festivities. Yes, there is only three hours left of GoFest. While this year's GoFest was quite a bit different than previous ones, I'm overjoyed that trainers all over the world could still come together and celebrate and protect our beloved Pokemon. Even when we're apart, we're still united by our love of Pokemon. No matter what obstacles appear in your path, you can always count on your Pokemon and your fellow trainers. I know we'll all meet again under the same sky someday. So until then, let's go. What? There's more? Oh, I, I think this is like a special page. If I complete it, I get a Victini tee. I saw someone wear this earlier. Huh. Take a snapshot of Victini, catch 20 different species of Pokemon, and send three gifts to friends. We get an incubator. Very nice. I can't even believe all the legendaries that were just handed to us on a silver platter, not to mention Giovanni's Persian. What a crazy day. I need to go charge my phone before it dies. <laughs> Shiny Survivor! My phone's at 1%, so I have to catch it really, really fast. I'm a little bit terrified. It's plugged in, but you never know. It's been plugged in for the past, like, three hours, but it's still losing charge. You know, you know how car chargers are. But he looks so cool! Yes! Okay, so I got the... both of those regionals, then. <laughs> the Zangoose and the Survivor. Yes, my first origin form Giratina! Ah, he's so cool! I definitely like him more than altered form, personally. He just looks so epic. Evil demon snake. Oh, he's really trash. No wonder, because I was able to catch him with a silver pineapple. But that's okay, I'm glad to finally have him. I still need to get... Palkia. And then I should have all of them that are available right now. We don't- I don't know if I'm gonna be able to get Palkia, but let's hope for the best. So, something kind of interesting we just found out is me and Andy have both done 40 rocket leaders throughout the day, and I've gotten four shinies, and she's gotten one. I've... I'm a little bit mad. But, this is our 40th one. I just defeated Cliff, I think? What'd you get? Sierra. Sierra? Alright, let's check them. One, two, three. Not shiny. That's 40 for both of 40, us. 40, yeah. Oh my gosh. That is so many. It is a lot. Alright guys, Go Fest is coming to an end. I just picked up another shiny. There's only about 40 minutes of the event left, so we're gonna do all our finishing up stuff before it's too late. I found a shiny Carvana. That's pretty neat. Go ahead and catch him real fast. Carvana is an interesting Pokemon for me. There was a Carvana Spotlight Hour. For some reason, I think I got three Carvana in that Spotlight Hour, so, you know, I got his family plus one. So I don't really need Carvana, but it's still a really cool find. I can't get over this shiny. I've always loved it, always will love it. It's a fantastic shiny Pokemon. We're gonna keep an eye on this incense for just in case we pick up another shiny randomly, but... We need to go ahead and finish up our task. I have one left to do. Take a snapshot of Victini. So let's go ahead and do that real fast. Well, if we're going to take a snapshot already, we might as well make it a cute one. How about up in the flowers? There we go. There's our snapshot of Victini. We also got multiple photo bombers. 
Let's grab ourselves our wash rodum. There was five more of these today. Pretty cool. Obviously we were all kind of hoping we'd get a different rodum, but they're probably gonna do that for another event, so we're gonna have to wait on that. Ooh! Ha <laughs> ha! I was, I was just saying, we need to check our incenses, because you don't know if we're gonna get a shiny, and we did. This is my third one of him today, so, wow. Okay guys, and we finished our tasks. We get 20 Victini candy, 10 rare candy, one super incubator, which is awesome. We get a Victini T, super cute, a pre two premium battle passes, and two star pieces. And another Victini T, apparently. <laughs> and that's it. That is it for GoFest 2020 Rocket Straight to Victory. Now guys, to finish up GoFest, I am not going to be evolving any shiny families that I've collected. I know I've collected a lot, but the reason I'm not gonna do that is because I have something else in mind. We are going to evolve Alduin. Let's grab a present from her real quick. She has her badge, she's ready to go. We're ready to switch buddies, but we'll be doing that at the beginning of the next video. We only have to give her eight rare candy because she actually earned the rest herself, which is pretty crazy. All that walking, I'm telling ya. And now Alduin is ready to be evolved. This is gonna be a dex, this is gonna be so exciting. I've never had this Pokemon before, and we're gonna see what happens. What she's going to look like. Oh, this is so exciting. And... Wow, look at that gorgeous dragon, Haxorus. And we're dexing it with the badge. Fantastic. What an amazing Pokemon. She's gonna be in a lot of gyms being shown off, that's for sure. People are gonna be like, what on earth is that thing in that gym that is amazing? Alduin, what a glorious beast. All right guys, let's give Alduin her last berry. Look at that, she looks so cool. Yeah! <laughs> Gotta take a picture with her, obviously. Alduin gets evolved at the end of GoFest. I think that's a fantastic way to end it off. Look at that! Wow, prowling around all those other Pokemon like, yo, I'm the rarest one here. Deal with it. Hello everyone, welcome back. GoFest is finally over, and we're about to look and see how many shinies overall I got, my favorite shinies, and some that I forgot to record. But first off, let me show you the best shiny I got out of all of GoFest. Baby Shasta! But this is my new puppy Shasta. She's a miniature poodle and she is nine weeks old. She's a tiny little baby puppy and she's adorable and she likes my earrings. I actually got her only a few days ago. Say hi Shasta! Say hi! Oh. She's the most precious puppy in the world. Sorting my recent, we're gonna quickly go through all my shinies and you can see the IVs right next to the name. So if you're curious, the first Pokemon I got was Chinchow. Not the best IVs, still really cool. Then we got Clam Pearl. Another Clam Pearl, this one has really good IVs. This is the one I accidentally checked and got super excited about. Then we got Dratini, then Krogunk of course. Jigglypuff, Eevee, so happy with this one, Houndor, Alolan Marowak, this one is a star because of this one I can trade. I only need one shiny Alolan Marowak and I ended up getting a lot. Magmar, Quillfish, love that, Mudkip, and directly after I got another Mudkip, Clam Pearl, Execute. Swablu, Slackoth, Meryl, Eevee again, Wobbuffet, Venonat, which was the last shiny I got of day one. And starting off day two, we got Woobat, Zangoose, Tangela, which I got when I was eating, still love this guy, Alolan Executor, which I got quite a few of. Marowak again. 80. That's really good for a wild-caught shiny right there. 
Then we got Woobat again. So that means we have completed the Woobat family. Alolan Executor again. Alolan Executor again. Alolan Grimer. Shadow Shiny Beldum. Quillfish again. Not that she can even evolve. Charmander with the hat. Another Alolan Grimer. Saviper. Love this dude. Another shiny Charmander with the hat. And another Alolan Grimer. Quillfish again. Carvana. Alolan Grimer, which you guys saw me catch. Alolan Marowak again. Now there's three more after this. And the funny thing is, there was five minutes left of GoFest. I was going strong. Those last five minutes, I'm like, I'm gonna clutch a few shinies. And I did just that. I got three shinies in the last five minutes of GoFest, and here they are. First off, Shiny Charmander with the hat, again. <laughs> so that was my third one, I've had three of them. Then I got Alolan Executor, should've saw that coming. And lastly, one of my favorites, Squirtle with the hat, yes! And you know what that means? That means I only missed one shiny with the hat Pokemon, and that was Bulbasaur. But luckily, but luckily, I was able to trade for one. Heck yeah! I actually traded for him just now. I traded a double shiny Illumise because I have three of those. So that worked amazingly. So I did end up getting the full family of those, which is just amazing. Very exciting. I got so much done during GoFest. I'm very happy with the turnout. Turned out very good, very, very good. In total, I ended up with 44 shinies. Wow, that's a lot of shinies. That's pretty amazing. I think Zach got like 46 and his brother got like 49. So I didn't lose by much, but I definitely lost. Really quick guys, I just wanted to catch you up on a few shinies. When I went to get Shasta, which I actually flew to Missouri to get her, some of you guys who are my friends probably noticed that I was sending you Missouri presents. Um, for some reason, I have really good travel shiny luck. So I got a lot of shinies when I was traveling. Let me show you what they are. First off, in my local airport, I got a shiny Oddish off of, I think someone had a Mossy Lore running. So that was really, really cool. And the most hilarious part is, look at its CP. Oh my gosh, it's hilarious. It couldn't be better. Then, while I was changing planes in Arizona, Phoenix, Arizona, I got another shiny, which of course I named Phoenix, Shiny Growlithe, which surprisingly goes well with Arizona because when I was there, it was 106 degrees, so uh, fire type Pokemon seems to make a lot of sense. Then when I was in Missouri, James and Jesse showed up, and I somehow, somehow got a shiny shadow. I am so thankful for this. Shiny shadow coughing. Yes. Yes. Oh man, this is so awesome. I don't know what was with my shiny luck because all these shinies were found within two days. I guess traveling, I just have a lot of luck, which means I need to travel more often. Hmm. <laughs> and then, almost directly after catching Shiny Shadow coughing, I found a random Rattata. Sounds about right. It was literally like, I exited the screen of Shiny Shadow coughing, there was like three spawns, I click on the Rattata and he's shiny. So, very interesting. <laughs> but anyway guys, you'll be seeing more of Shasta as she grows. She's a miniature poodle, so she's gonna be like a bit of a medium slash small dog. She's not gonna stay this small, trust me on that. This little black floof is gonna get much bigger. She's gonna be going out and playing Pokemon with us all the time once she gets older. But anyway guys, I hope you all had an amazing Go Fest. I know I did. And I'm gonna be definitely looking forward to all the other Safari Zones and Go Fests of the future. And we'll see you all next time!